What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at our dealership, Bachman Chevrolet. We have a 2020 Corvette Stingray right here in Sebring Orange. It's got the cover on it right now. They're gonna be taking it off in about two and a half hours. Um, and I will show you every bit of this car that I possibly can. We're expecting a ton of people. Uh, it's gonna be really crowded, but I'll do my best to get you up close and personal. Got a ton of B-roll for you guys. We're gonna talk through all the different seatbelt options, all the different color options, all your different wheel options. I mean, we got everything here. The entire New York Auto Show setup is here in Louisville, Kentucky, and we're gonna take a look at all of it. We'll see you soon. Now, as far as steering wheel options go, you've got two different variants. So now on both variants, you have kind of a similar button layout. Uh, you've got your heated steering wheel button there, uh, your voice assistant button, hang up the phone, volume up and down buttons, multimedia control here. All Corvettes have this new Z mode button. Um, you have kind of your uh, adaptive cruise control here, and then you can switch between your favorites on the radio there. On the back, you've got your paddle shifters as well. And then you've got your little um, body colored uh, leather wrap piece uh, right up there. Now, the second option and the more uh, general generic option is the suede microfiber wrapped. Um, same similar layout, paddle shifters, Z button, um, cruise control buttons, favorites, volume. You are missing the uh, heated steering wheel uh, on this one. Yes, you can see that button has been removed from the top. Nice C8 badge there in the middle. Now um, on the leather one, you would notice that it has as well accent stitching here which is absent from the suede microfiber version. Now you've got two different key fobs here. Um, number one is the carbon flash. So that has the kind of blacked out area around the logo. Um, and then you have the chrome, which as the name suggests, has the chrome around the emblem there. Now, as far as seatbelt options go, you've got your traditional black seatbelt, um, as well a torch red, which looks awesome, a yellow, an orange, which I really want for my Crosstrek, uh, blue, which is the rapid blue, and then a natural tan color as well. Now up top here, these little armrest pads are for the drive mode selector cover. So you can see it over here um, in this image. They have a little wheel underneath that you can switch between the driving modes and you can pick which color you want. So we've got a jet black with gray stitching, jet black with red stitching, jet black with yellow stitching, got a natural leather color, adrenaline red, morello red, a two-tone blue color, as well as a sky cool gray. Now you've got a plethora of different wheel options here. Bright silver open spoke, a carbon flash open spoke. This one is the Spectra gray trident spoke, sterling silver trident spoke, the performance pewter open spoke, which is kind of a more of a tan color and then a black Trident spoke as well. I think probably the Carbon Flash or the Black Trident are the best looking ones in my opinion. Now up top, we've got these little 3D cutouts um, of the different cars. Now this is a 3D printed version, looks exactly like uh, the C8 does, and it is painted with the same uh, paint and made with the same material uh, as the C8 is. So you can see all 12 colors available here. The bronze color, you've got black, Long Beach red, Arctic white, blade silver, my favorite, the torch red, a Sebring orange, which is actually the one I have right behind me covered up, ceramic matrix gray, the accelerate yellow, shadow gray, Elkhart Lake blue, and wrap blue like the seatbelt. And then right to the right of that, you've got your different caliper options. Now you've got black front caliper, bright red front caliper, edge red rear caliper, and the yellow. I'm a big fan of the bright red calipers, especially with the black Trident spoke wheels that we talked about. Now let's take a look at the seating options. Now you've got three different seating options here, the GT1, GT2, and the competition sports seats. Obviously, they're gonna come on the different trim levels. So at your lowest trim level here, you're going to have the GT1 seats. They're all sporty as far as like bolstering goes. Um, but you'll notice that they have different cutouts, different stitching, and different uh, movement functionality. So GT1 seats here. White accent stitching. 
GT2 with the red accent stitching and the perforations here. Got also carbon fiber uh, behind here, which you do not have on the GT1 seats. And you've got an added uh, bolstering, like a support here, probably like a uh, lower back support type thing. And then over on the competition sport seats, uh, very different kind of shape here on the base part of it um, as well. You have the same kind of carbon fiber here behind the headrest. And again, with that kind of a, like a two, two type material, got a leather here and then fabric here with the white accent stitching. As I mentioned before, this is the like entire New York Auto Show um, setup. So they've got the giant uh, screen here, the giant touch screen where you can basically go in here and customize uh, the exact Corvette you would want to make or order. Um, I showed this off in my first look video, um, the same way that you can use it. This is just like a giant version of it where you can, uh, you know, change all your different exterior elements here, add stripes or accents, remove the stripes. Let's see if we change the exterior color here. Let's go to uh, that Sebring orange. There you go. So it can just change right before your eyes there. You can spin it around, get all different kinds of views of it. You can take the roof off, turn the headlights on or off, and then you can hop inside as well. Boom. Pretty sweet. What's going on guys, back here at the event. We are a mere 24 minutes away from them officially unveiling the 2020 Corvette here at the show. So let's go ahead and head back over here and look. As you could probably tell, there's a significant line right now. I assume that it'll probably get longer. Um, but right now, it's probably, I don't know, 50-ish, 50 to 100 people here waiting in line, still 25 minutes ahead of when they officially take the cover off. Um, lots of actually people have driven their Corvettes in. We've got them all parked outside and we'll go take a look at that here in a second. So just a really cool atmosphere. So I was just told that we actually have all the generations here, C2 through C7. Tried to get our hands on a C1. We'll leave a little memorial space here for it. Couldn't get our hands on a C1 but C2 through C7 in order all the way down. Plenty more where that came from. All kinds of different looks, colors, years. And I think a lot of these are from the Louisville and surrounding area Corvette clubs. So we're now about 10 minutes away from them pulling the cover back. So. There's quite a line now. We got the news here as well. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, a really awesome experience. Not only for people here seeing it for the first time, but people getting to sit in it, getting to look at all the different options, see everything up close and put in orders. Even though we have already fulfilled our orders. We got 125, they're all gone already, so. We sold uh, almost 2,000 new Corvettes since we opened up in 1985. So with this new car, we're gonna far exceed that. Interesting. Uh, when you see the car, you're going to be super impressed. We went through the walk around last night, and it was like, oh my gosh, they did this, they did this, they did this. It's still one of the earliest tour stops we've had, and so you guys are going to be one of the first crowds on the East Coast of the U.S. to get to see the car and sit in the car. So join me in thanking Bachman Chevrolet for having us and giving you guys this opportunity. So thanks for it. So my name is Richard, I'm the Corvette Specialist here on tour, and without any further ado, gentlemen, 
the first ever production mid-engine Corvette Stingray So as you guys just saw, they finally took the cover off and now it's a madhouse. People trying to get up close, news trying to get up close, people sitting in it. It's gonna be a mad scramble, I think, for quite a few hours now. So um, we'll try and get as close as we can to it. Hopefully they'll let me sit in it at some point because um, I've yet to sit in it. And then, uh, yeah. been about four hours since the event started and there is still a consistent line wrapping too deep and almost to the front door. far in the video I really appreciate it I know this video's kind of been all over the place it was a lot going on the event was insane a lot of people a lot of food a lot of music really good time um, but I didn't get to shoot an official outro um, so I just wanted to say I tried my best to cover as much of the car as possible I really didn't get close to it um, other than the few b-roll shots I got at the beginning I only sat in it for about 30 seconds so we will definitely be getting more coverage of the C8 when we actually get a couple of them here, probably late December, early January. Um, but I tried my best just to give kind of a brief overview of the setup and of the car. So um, hopefully uh, you got some good info out of that and at least got to see it uh, if you haven't seen it for the first time. Uh, if you did like the video, drop a like on it. Don't forget to comment below telling us what your favorite part about the upcoming C8 is, and we'll see you in the next one.